that's how it's supposed to train, right? <laughs> I'm Trey Robinson, and I make videos for FlowGrappling.com, the leader in jiu-jitsu media. And in this series, we're taking you behind the scenes with the best grapplers on the planet as they prepare for the 2022 ADCC World Championship. ADCC is known as the grittiest, toughest, and most prestigious tournament in professional grappling. Taking home ADCC gold can change your life forever. So we're going to go around the globe to see how the best athletes in the world are preparing to make their dreams a reality. Welcome to the 2022 to ADCC Vlog. It is 4.58 a.m. right now. We're about to drive to San Diego to meet up with Andre Galvao. I'm excited for this one. It should be really fun. Can't wait to see what a day in his life looks like. Backyard to have a canyon outside. It's kind of like cool, like to meditate sometimes here, you know. Um, during the camp, I do like the pool, you know, cold and then hot and jacuzzi. So the camp is about to start. Yeah, we didn't start like really hard yet, but yeah, it's coming next week, Monday. Monday we start. Oh, like I want to show you the, the tree house. Yeah. So you're here in the tree house. This is pretty cool. Is it the best tree house, the tree house ever? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty cool, look. We have the, the window. <laughs> so we have like some uh, some guys that came here, Akaina, Andy. Murasaki. <laughs> Murasaki, you know? Yeah. Mackenzie Dern, she came no, here too. A bunch of celebrities. Yeah, celebrities, they came to the treehouse. Yeah. <laughs> Even Bernardo Faria, I don't know if you saw it. Yeah. Bernardo came here as well. I think this is the most famous treehouse ever. <laughs> In the Jiu-Jitsu community, for sure. Um, I tried to eat a lot, but healthy, you know, like, like things like eggs and bread and I try to avoid sugar you know even though I love sugar at least once a week I have like a like a dessert or something like that at least once a week but I'm not very restrict you know yeah. but I have like let's say five six meals a day yeah, I used to be locked in the gym I used to go uh, train from Monday I used to arrive on Monday morning from from my town I got a bus I used to get a bus yeah I arrived in Copacabana around 6, 6.30 a.m. because I, I, I got the, the red eye bus, you know? Yeah, yeah. I used to go straight to Copacabana Beach and Fred Sompaixon was at the beach already, yeah. like ready to run. And then we used to run every morning. And then uh, train the rest of the day, like drilling sessions and stuff. And at night we used to spar really hard. And then um, on, on the weekends, like on Saturday 1 p.m., they closed the gym, Mike. Saturday 1 p.m. the gym's closed and it was a commercial building yeah. so I used to stay in the gym from 1 p.m. Saturday all the way to Monday 7 a.m. so locked I, in? Unable to leave. yeah locked in unable to leave <laughs> seriously so I I used to I used to uh, go to the to the uh, groceries and get a, a watermelon I got a watermelon and um, an ice cream, <laughs> like a big ice cream, and like some waffles and stuff, like things that non-perishable food, right? Yeah. And kept with me during the week, throughout the week. And I have like books that I used to read, and that was just me on the mat, like eating watermelon and sleeping and getting locked at the gym. Like just like after that, I felt like. Like, I could pass through many things, then I would be okay. Yeah, Andre, so what's what's going on here with all these black belts over here? Uh, it's like a surfboard, you know? Like, you, some days I could feel like, oh, today I feel like old school, I go old school, you know? Oh, today I feel like uh, new school, I go new school. Oh, today I feel like, oh, I need a light belt, I got a light belt. 
So, and then people like give me as a gift and then I just keep right here. It's all my belts and Angelica's. Yeah, Mike Perez, I've been training at Otto since 2013. I'm a three-time ADCC veteran. Yeah, we're just getting ready for his match with Gordon. So we've been working out every single morning from uh, eight to like 9.30ish every single day. So yeah, been training a lot with him for this match. First five minutes, no points. Second five minutes, points. They just big like that, okay? Sure. All right. If you wanna go with the same person, go with the same person. Okay. If you wanna go with different person every five minutes, you can do it. If you wanna do the overtime with someone different, you can do it, okay? I should have to go with the same person. It's funny because every single ADCC, he uh, he triple X's, four X's. Right now he's like six X'ing. Like, and it's not even like all the way through camp. So the guy's sleeping like 12 hours a day. He's eating right. Uh, he's focused, he's hungry too, you know? Um, the match, the challenge of Gordon is what motivates him and it keeps, it keeps him moving. And he wakes up every day ready to face that. And uh, I, I can't wait to see it. And we're gonna get the W. They don't stop moving like I went with Kate, I went with Ronaldo. They they move so much. Beast, man. Yeah, yeah. But that's how it's supposed to train, right? Try my best. Doing my best right now so I can uh, get reward later on. Yeah. It's feeling like really blessed. Yeah, feel good. Happy. <laughs> Make sure you replenish your body. Good nutrients, good food, proteins, macros, micros. You know, making sure you're getting those electrolytes back. Each of us probably sweat like five, six pounds of training each session. Okay? You got bumps and bruises, make sure you ice those things. Okay? Make sure you get your rest before your next session. Other than that, guys, I love you guys so much. You guys did great today. Thanks, go. Thank you, coach. You guys got another hey, session? Hey, coach. Another hey, session coach. probably tonight. Oh. And then Wednesday, you guys have off tomorrow. It is. Okay? Yeah. So you get a day to recover, yeah. and then we come back Thursday yeah. to Shark Tank and then Friday training. I love Shark Tank. Oh, Shark Tank.